and also Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. Looking unto Yeshua, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. So, get it right. God himself, our Lord Yeshua, our Savior Jesus, is the Most High King, the Royal Holy Son of God, who reigns over all heaven and earth, in time and eternity, over all nations and people. Yes, he did therefore qualify most perfectly to have the right to fulfill his royal kingly office. Well, you might say, what does that have to do with me? Jesus is the king of Israel. Yeshua is the king of Israel way over there in the Middle East. And this was back in the first century. What does it have to do with me? Well, to answer your question, it has to do with everything. And in my notes here, I put it in all capital letters. Only a worthy king could reign over Israel. Only a God-appointed king could sit on a throne to judge and reign over not only Israel, but all of the earth. Only a conquering king could overcome sin, the devil, and have his royal realm extended beyond Israel to receive a heavenly throne and a dominion over all of heaven and earth. In fact, all of the spiritual truths that you know and enjoy about God are in effect precisely because Yeshua, our Jesus, is king of heaven and earth. Do you remember all those verses? And I'm presuming that you have read the book of Revelation all the way through. And do you remember all those verses in the book of Revelation that speak about we believers being made into priests and kings over all the earth? Okay, now I'm making a connection for you. For example, in Revelation chapter 1 verse 6, it reads, And has made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. And Revelation 5.10 reads, again, Revelation 5.10, and the other one was Revelation 1.6. And has made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. And so you ask the question, what does this have to do with me? This is what it has to do with you. The fact that the Lord has made his believers into kings and priests. So when he conquered, he himself became the great high king. But we're going to be reigning with him when he comes back to reign and rule during his millennial age. And we've spoken about this in previous sermons. We've spoken about this thing called dispensation, how God works in the earth in specific ways at specific times. And we spoke about how right now we're in the church age or the age of grace, but it's quickly coming to a close. And we're expecting the great rapture of the church, our blessed hope. And we know afterwards there will be seven years of judgment in the earth called the tribulation period. But after the seven years, Yeshua himself shall come to reign in the earth and we will be reigning with him. And it is legal for him to reign because he inherits his royal throne. And because you and I, my fellow believer, he is our head. We are his body, his church, his ecclesia, his bride. Because he reigns, he has given us the right to reign with him. So these are the reasons why what Yeshua is as king matters to both you and me because it is how he is exalting us so that we may reign with him.